How can we simplify 3 divided by 5i? What would you do in this example? The best thing we could do to get rid of the complex number in the bottom is to multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by i. So this is going to be 3i, but on the bottom, 5i squared. And 5i squared is negative 5. So this is the answer. It's negative 3 over 5 times i. So now it's in standard form. Standard form is a plus bi. In this problem, a is 0. So it's a minus 3 over 5 times i, or 0 minus 3 over 5 times i. So how can you convert this expression to standard form? Let's say if we have 4 plus 2i divided by 3i. So first, we need to get rid of the imaginary number in the bottom. So let's multiply the top and the bottom by i. So on top, it's going to be 4i plus 2i squared. On the bottom, we're going to have 3i squared. 2i squared is equal to negative 2. 3i squared is negative 3. So we're going to divide both numbers by negative 3. So negative 2 divided by negative 3 plus 4i divided by negative 3. So in standard form, that is in a plus bi form, a is positive 2 over 3. The two negative signs will cancel. b is negative 4 over 3, and then times i. So that's the answer. Go ahead and rationalize the denominator. Get rid of the radical and the imaginary number. So to simplify this particular problem, we need to multiply the top and the bottom by root 5i. So on top, it's going to be 4 root 5 times i. On the bottom, root 5 times root 5 is 5. i times i is i squared. So 5i squared is equal to negative 5. So in a plus bi format, it's 0 minus 4 over 5 root 5 times i. Now what about this one? Go ahead and simplify this problem. 8 divided by 3 plus 2i. So if you have two terms on the bottom, multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate of 3 plus 2i is 3 minus 2i. You simply have to change the sign. So on top, let's distribute the 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times negative 2i is negative 16i. On the bottom, let's FOIL. We know the two middle terms will cancel. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times negative 2i is negative 6i. And then 2i times 3, that's positive 6i. And then 2i times negative 2i is negative 4i squared. Now the two middle terms adds up to 0. And so it's 24 minus 16i. Negative 4i squared is plus 4 because i squared is negative 1. And 9 plus 4 is 13. So we can write it as 24 over 13 minus 16 over 13i. Now it's in standard form. Let's try one more example. 4 minus 2i divided by 3 plus 5i. Simplify the expression. So we're going to have to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So on top, we need to FOIL. 4 times 3, that's going to be positive 12. And then 4 times negative 5i, that's negative 20i. And then negative 2i times 3, that's negative 6i. And then we have negative 2i times negative 5i, that's going to be positive 10i squared. On the bottom, the two middle terms will cancel. So what's going to be left over is 3 times 3, which is 9, and also 5i times negative 5i, which is negative 25i squared. So in the numerator, let's combine the like terms. So it's 12 minus 26i, and 10i squared is negative 10. Negative 25i squared, that's going to be positive 25. 12 minus 10 is 2.
9 plus 25 is 34. So we can separate into two fractions. 2 over 34 and negative 26 over 34 times i. Now let's simplify the fractions. 2 over 34, if you divide both numbers by 2, it reduces to 1 over 17. 26 and 34, they're both even, so we could divide it by 2. So it's going to be 13 over 17 times i. And so this is it.